D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this story. And you can read those for yourself and come up with your own opinion. Or you can just watch this video where I break it all down and everything and make it simple. And then you just go about your way. Um, before I also get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We always get pushed to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. So uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? Dark Horse Comics has been uh, acquired by a video game publisher. Um, THQ Nordic parent company Embracer uh, Group uh, has, uh, gotten that. Uh, so, um, we saw, you know, we saw dark horse was up for sale. Um, and why we, I say, uh, me and, uh, maybe you, and I thought it would go to a movie studio, like they would buy it. Um, and because they want, uh, the, those, the comic book characters, you know, like Marvel ha Disney has Marvel, you know, and they have all their characters, minus Spider-Man and everything, because that's Sony. And then, um, you know, like Warner Brothers has the DC characters. So I thought another studio would snatch up these characters and these IPs that they have and, and everything, because, uh, you know, and they do have some really great IPs. They have stuff like they have Hellboy, they've adapted Zelda, Final Fantasy, Bioshock, Killjoys, Popeye, Sin City, The Mask. Um, and then they also adapted, I don't know if they own the rights to these, but they also adapted Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, those comics were really good. And they also did a little bit of Star Wars. Not a little bit, they did Star Wars. So I think that, I think that this is, you know, um, I think that this is, is, is uh, interesting. Now I love comics and that's why uh, this interests me is because I love comic books so much. They're so great. Um, and I, it's hard for the comic publishers um, you know, because, you know, they're they're constantly like, you know, losing interest with people like people aren't interested in comic books. And I think that the comic book market is not doing well. I mean, if you look at it, it's it's like it's failing and it's like numbers. If you ever look at the numbers and everything, it's like numbers that would get you canceled back in the day. They're like, no, you've got a hit on your hands. And I think that that's a problem. And I think that a lot of people, when it comes to comic books, they like the idea of comic books, but they don't like to actually read comic books. So um, it says the acquisition is being made uh, in order to boost Embracer Group's uh, transmedia capabilities. And the games company also has plans for the creation of new video games uh, utilizing the 300 plus intellectual properties owned or controlled by Dark Horse. And, like, and I just listed a, a handful of those. They have a whole bunch more. I don't know if they can do Star Wars uh, or like Avatar the Last Airbender, but it'll be interesting to say. And uh, this is what the CEO had to say. Um, I can't express the excitement I feel as Dark Horse moves into this new chapter in our history, says Dark Horse CEO and founder Mike Richardson. The synergies that exist with the Embracer network of companies uh, promises exciting new opportunities, not only for Dark Horse, but also for the creators and companies we work with. I've had a number of compelling conversations with Embracer CEO Lars Wingfors. I don't Wingfors. I don't know if that's how you say his name. And I'm very impressed with him and what he and his team have built. I have to say, the future of our company has never looked brighter. And of course, he would say something like that. It's it's you know, um, I do like I said before. This is sad that uh, you know comic books aren't selling enough to where to the to the point where comic book companies feel like they have to sell to, you know, outside, you know, the comic book realm. But I am surprised that a movie studio didn't buy them up, you know. Um, I don't know who it is that does the Hellboy movies. Is that Lionsgate? Don't quote me on that. I can't remember. Um, you know, or maybe they didn't have the funds to do it, but it it's just interesting that they um, wouldn't wouldn't do that. Tell me, what do you guys think about this? How do you feel about Dark, Dark Horse Comics uh, being acquired by the uh, video game publisher uh, 
um, Embracer, which is THQ Nordic uh, parents, their parent company. Um, how do you feel about that? Um, is this a bummer for you? Because it's like kind of like the death of the comic book world, in my opinion. I'm like, you know, where is it going to go from here? It's, you just get these big studios making these decisions that necessarily aren't good for comic books they're just good for them i mean i get it but at the same time i go that's a bummer for me all right guys go ahead and tell me what you think go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button you know i won't mind if you do my channel please hit that subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it i will see you guys next week you guys have a good week bye